China's GDP has quadrupled in the last 15 years. Researchers are asking why. This year, I went to China and interviewed several high school students. And through this interview, I hope to add my own piece to the answer. With this interview, I learned about Chinese students' studies, lives, even what they think about, and also their plans for the future. I visited and interviewed students in two public high schools in the city of Dalian, a northeastern port city about the same latitude as New York City or Boston. The two high schools, named Dalian Yiming High School and Dalian 20th High School, are in the Dalian Top 5, which are competitively tested for admission. The huge campuses contain numerous facilities, including buildings for classrooms, which contain hundreds of classrooms for lectures, and buildings for laboratories with numerous types of labs including chemistry, physics, and biology labs which all have their own preparation rooms. There are also other buildings including libraries, complete fitness centers, and outdoor multi-purpose arenas, cafeterias, and administration's offices, dorms for living on campus, and even psychology consulting offices. When I stepped into Yuming, huge embossed words greeted me with the slogan, Nation, Future, Pride. And every classroom hallway hung rows of words saying self-motivation, self-improvement, innovation, triumph. In a competitive environment like China, the goal of everyone in the schools, be it the teachers, the students, the staff, is to have the students attend the best universities possible. In front of 20th High, a large bulletin board displays the names of last year's students who were accepted into top universities. Among these universities, I saw some American universities. Chinese students can choose from two different sets of classes, the liberal arts or the sciences. So how do they actually study? I asked one student what kinds of homework they have. Um, 
可以自己选题目，选题目的话，就是一般老师就是对题目就是有点要要求，就是通过以后就开始研究，然后在期末的时候需要，嗯、呃，就是每个组要可以用各种形式来把你研究的成果展示一下。其实这些 projects 也非常锻炼自己的能力，像做一放个片那种，像演讲，然后这些特别关锻炼口才，可能你需要找别人帮忙，然后你锻炼一下人际关系什么的。我当然是喜欢 projects 这些作业了，我不喜欢那些什么重复来重复去的，就是差不多都是题，各种题这种作业。我高一结束了以后，就我们就没有这个课了，我们其他就大部分都是写的作业了。In China, the students spend most of their time doing schoolwork. I I think you you must be very free in in America or other place, but in China, we have lots of homework to do every day. Uh, we might study until 10, 20 in the evening. However, they still have a variety of extracurricular activities. Thank you. 
如果你有特长，像我就是我有小提琴特长，然后你就可以去考。如果他觉得你很好的话，他也可以给你加分。然后我觉得那个压力还是比较大的，因为你但考考不好的话，你就很可能上不了想去的那些大学。在高一的时候，老师已经已经让我们去填写一下，将来想想考哪所大学的意愿了。今年我要在这个呃自主招生，假设有四四百，有一个名牌大学里边，自主招生也挺多的，最多的一千多人。哎，咱们国家有不同的，它有名额限制。这个大学给你一千多人，四百、二百，哎，都有的。那么这个自主招生呢，主要看的也是说白了，也是重在考生，也是重在考。那么你看，我大学到底需要来招生？你过了我们大学这分数线了以后，我感觉你这个孩子各方面能力还比较不错。只要你考大学过程中能考到一百线，我就要你，这也是一种方法。哎，但是中国这块主要还是咳咳通过这个高考，通过高考来录取比较好的大学，你像清华大学，清华大学看什么？主要是。那么这个能力这块也挺重视。你比方说，打个比方，你是好学生。是省里的优秀学生，省里的呃三好学生，省里的优优秀学生干部，这都可能加，都要加十分。During my visit, I had the opportunity to witness the weekly flag raising ceremony. I also had a chance to talk with a member of the student council. We have a member of the student council. We have a member of the student council. We have a member of the student council. 活动的后期，就是比如说，呃，帮忙搬个桌子，也有文艺部，他们负责，比如说呃，演出的导演，还有秘书处，他们呃就是做 secretary， 他们这样的呃一些事。高中之后参加学生会，就是亲自自己跟自己的同伴，从这个像呃活动的策划到执行。每一个环节都需要我们自己来思考，然后就是锻炼了自己的一些创造性，嗯，也提提高了一些自己执行的能力吧。我现在由于就是刚刚加入学生会，我还是属于被管理的。当我成了 leader 之后，我会学会 how to be a leader， 嗯，去更好的管理我自己的人员嘛。I then asked him about his understanding. Of leadership. 最重要的一点就是，领导需要有一个大局观，就是他能比较全面的去统筹、去管理这个活动。这个是第一点。其其次呢，领导需要获利，就是 when he wants to make decisions， 他需要非常果断，不能犹豫。呃，其次呢，领导他还有一个作用就是能够把手下的每一个人。他们的长处，他们的能力给激发出来，然后能作为一个有机的整体，更好的为他，呃，为他整个活动去出力吧。我们这儿只有那些，比如说班级的班长和学生会的那些领导的学生，他们的能力就是会得到培养，然后其他那些普通的同学。他们没有过多的机会去，呃，被学校培养之类的。In the U.S., I'm part of a first tech challenge robotics team. And one time during a robotics competition in New York City, I met a judge, who, after examining my team's robot, asked me a question: Do you want to be a banker or an engineer in the future? He added that bankers. Do nothing and get everything, while engineers do everything and get very little. I asked the same question 
to Chinese high school students. Engineer这样的 I saw a slogan on the campus of 20s High that best summarized China's attitude on education. A nation's future is determined not on the battlefield but rather in every classroom.